We've done our threshing, we've done our winnowing. Now we have rice mixed with stones. And we think, okay, maybe I can separate the rice and the stones using my old method itself. Maybe hand picking by appearance because the stones look somewhat black and the rice looks white. But then there seem to be way too many stones in this rice. Then what do we do? We think, okay, maybe I can thresh it, but they're not even connected. I have no way to hold it. It doesn't even make any sense. Maybe I can winnow. But the problem here is both of them are, aren't too different in their weights. Let me call it that for now. Yeah. So when I drop them, they're both going to fall right over here and they're, gonna, they're not going to separate. So none of the things that I already know is going to help me, which means it's a great opportunity to think of something new. What new difference can I observe between the two? Appearance not helping, weight not helping, they're not attached. But if I notice that the stones are either much smaller than the rice or much larger, they're quite a bit smaller or quite a bit larger, can I do something about it? What if I create something like a net that I use to catch fish? Right? So I take a net to the sea and then I put the net in the water and bring it out. I get only the fish and the water passes through, correct? So what I can pass through a net, but the fish can't. The fish are bigger than, so what's the condition for this? The fish must be bigger than those holes in a net, right? And somewhere, I think when I was really young, I heard that, you know, a net can be visualized as a set of holes stitched together. Yeah, if you can think of a net like that, which is quite a weird way to think about it, but if you have a set of holes stitched to, to each other, then you have to make sure that the hole size is smaller than the fish, right? So similarly over here, let's say that the stones are larger than rice. Then you have to make a net which is larger than the rice but smaller than the stones. Just the right amount. And then what can you do? You can make it so that if you put it on this net, if you shake enough so that everybody gets a chance to pass through, then only the rice will pass through. And the stones which are larger than this net will not. Right? So we've identified a way to exploit what here? The fact that the two of them have different sizes to separate the two of them. So you can see that human beings are pretty clever, right? Even to do something really simple, we have thought out so much. To get rice on our plate, we have done so much to make it clean and come to us, right? So now, this idea of using a net to separate the different sizes can be pushed to a totally different level. And let's see how that is in the next video. But by the way, even in construction, if you have sand that you want, right? But it's mixed with a lot of larger pieces like gravel and other stones, then you can put something which has holes in it, just small enough for the sand to pass through, or rather just large enough for the sand to pass through, but not large enough for the other pieces. Now this method, right, this thing that we use is called sieving, where you separate two things based on their difference in size. Now what we are going to do in the next video is, if you have a mixture, but now in this case, instead of between two solids, you have it between a solid and a liquid or a solid and a gas, then what can we do? To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's the learning app today.